Sensational to sedate. That kind of sums up Jerry Hannibal's year so far, because of course it began, well actually in, at Christmas, uh, with uh, the Spice Girls Reunion World Tour, which uh, you'll know if you went to see it was a total riot from start to finish, and it's now moved on to the, the gentler art of writing children's books. But we're going to start with the riot. Are you ready? One last time! <laughs> Come on! I want to thank you for believing in the Spice Girls and making our dreams come true and hopefully ignite another generation of girl power. Yeah. Jerry's here now. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. it was oh. so cool. It was such fun. I haven't watched any footage back. Have you, Have you not? Is so that I... deliberate or just you haven't had time? No, it's deliberate. Why? Well, during it, I didn't want to analyse myself. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. you'd be self conscious. Yeah. yeah. And then for the first time, I picked up one of the copies of the disc and thought, is it it's time to back and reflect? You know, I've yeah. moved yeah, yeah. on. It took me a time to come down from it. I bet yeah. it did. It was, yeah. it was full on, full on concert. So full on. Yeah. yeah. The whole tour. Your It's Raining Men, because you all did a single. You all came yeah. and did a single. Your It's Raining Men was hilarious. Thank you. It was you. just so good. Yeah. It was so funny. Thank you. You said, um, our, me and our kids and girls saw you at, um, at Wembley. No, the O2. The O2. Yeah. Uh, and you did the last concert in Toronto. Yeah. And I was reading the notes that you said at the end of that, that's it. You'll never see us all on stage together again. Was that the emotion of the moment, or you were just knackered, or is that really true? Well, as far as, you know, we're concerned, that's what we said. You know yeah. what I mean? This was, you know, the, you know, the reunion tour. And I, you can never say never. Because we said, I, you know, if you'd asked me ten years ago, said said never. Never. I said, no, it's never going to happen. So yeah. that's really taught me a lesson. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I can never say never. Yeah. You know, we could all be out with our Zimmer frames doing it. But for me, I feel fulfilled. I think it's done. Yeah. Leave on a high. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. What I think is nice, too, is that what it's done, it's actually brought you all together in, 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 yeah. in, in, in everyone's mind, you know, because there was always that thing, Jerry left. And then there was a split, and how happy were the others? Not, and, and now, having yeah, seen you I all feel, together yeah. again, it's put, it's put an it's end to that. It's healing, and it's done. Yeah. But the papers still wouldn't let that split alone, would they? they? All through the tour, they were still saying there were, you know, sort of inside st stories and front page of split, Spice Girls, co concerts cancelled. It wasn't true. They, they wanted you to split up, didn't they, again? I know. They wanted that to be the story. Well, it's not very interesting, is it, if girls are getting along great. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not as... But when you said in that little bit there, you know, maybe the next generation of Spice... Can you see, because almost all of you, except for one, are, are mums now. Can, can you see a kind of a, a, literally a new generation of Spice Girls, i.e. your daughters, all getting yeah. up on stage oh, in their teens? I don't know what I feel about that. Just say but... Yes, Just say <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> but what I meant was, um, for me, you know, girl power, that encouragement, and yeah. girl power, if you want to call it that, has existed throughout, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years, yeah. inspiring, encouraging young women and girls, yeah. you know, to have, believe in themselves and, you know, and Which you did, confidence. I thought it was absolutely That's great. That's what it's about, have yeah. confidence. Yeah. And so if that ignites a new generation, fantastic, to mm. go out and, you know, become presidents and prime ministers <laughs> and, you know, or just be, be, you know, achieve your full potential. Yeah. I mean, we're going to talk about your books and, and what you're doing at the moment, but what's your life like at the moment now? I mean, do you kind of feel, having come down from the tour, I mean, and you've got your little daughter and everything, I mean, are you very much more a, a stay-at-home mum now? You know what, it took me a real, you know, it's only t it's taken me a few months to wind down from it. Yeah. Because um, prior to that, I was, you know, writing my books. Yeah. And then I made sure I finished the deadline just before I started rehearsals. Mm. Oh, right. And then as soon as I got off the tour, I, I was kind of gearing up to start promoting my book. And that's quite, you know, promotion is, oh, you know, I know. it's, it's full quite on. full it's on. Full on yeah. So, and that's, you know, that's coming to winding down a little bit now. So I've been non-stop. Mm. And I think when you work at a high speed, speed and then you suddenly stop it takes you a while to suddenly go oh and actually this week I've suddenly gone oh god I'm quite tired. Well, well, do you know what it takes yeah. it takes a bit of stuff to kind of gear up again because we've yeah. been off for three months doing other yeah. things doing writing I'm and stuff like that. I'm on your first show hooray! Does it, feel, does it feel us a little a yeah. little odd? Yes, it does. Normally, it's like being in our living room here, but yeah. just on the first few few you shows, get back you're feeling a bit stressful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I listen, totally let, relate. Yeah. Let's talk about your books because they, it's it's a great idea. One a month, a ch children's books, I have to yeah. say. One a month. Yeah. Eugenia, tell us about Eugenia Lavender. What's she like? 
Well, the irony of this is that I wrote these book. I wrote about Eugenia way before I knew that a Spice Girls reunion was going to happen. Mm -hmm. And you know, I love being creative, and I wanted to create a character that was like a rebirth of girl power. So mm -hmm. I thought, how can I reach the next generation? And I love reading. I love your book club.